Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, guys, Wilson finally got me the new Serena racket. I know it's been a little while and it's been on the market for like a month now, but at least I finally got it. So there's been a couple revamps in the racket. Um, I'm going to take it out and test it with my man, Coach Andrew, and my man, Coach Chris. Um, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're on the court. Uh, got my man coach Goo here, got my man coach Chris here, and we also got the Serena signature racket here. So we're going to test it out right now for you and get right back to you. Hold tight. I just got off the court with Serena here. Um, Coach Goo, what did you think of Serena? Um, this blade, I personally would say it has a ton of power. Um, for its 102 head size, it does, even though it looks pretty big, it is pr a pretty big racket and it's oversized and the throat's pretty big too. It still delivers a, quite a bit of power and stability which is really interesting for me because usually oversized rackets like past 100 or 102 they're pretty unstable and they feel very very like light and this one actually when you hit through this it actually like feels pretty stable gives you a good response for a 102 racket so i personally was really shocked with this type of blade um i would say it's like like a blade, an easy blade to like just rip and have fun with for sure. So, so this is supposedly pro stock, right? Serena actually uses this racket. Um, Coach Chris, what'd you think of that? Um, so I actually enjoy it. Um, really honestly, doesn't feel like a blade. It, it, it's, it's, it's a lot more stable. Um, it's got a half inch longer too as well. So like the biggest takeaway I think is, is that it, it's really powerful. Um, I'm able to hit, you know, uh, really cleanly through the shots when I was hitting earlier um, and um, yeah the the weight distribution you know even though it's 10.2 um, it is distributed on the head here uh, but because it's light I was able to you know swing through it quite fast and generate um, pretty good racket speed when I was uh, hitting it through um, I definitely see how Serena really favors this racket um, and she takes, you know, when she tours with it, um, cause it's got, again, really like effortless power and it's a fun racket to play with too as well. So, so coach Andrew, when we were playing, um, I don't know if you heard or we captured it on, on a camera here on film here. Um, he kept saying, man, this racket feels like I'm playing super Mario brother and I just got a star, right? And suddenly I got my 10 or 20 seconds of power invincibility right and that's how this racket made him feel right is that what you were talking referring yeah, to i mean this is basically a cheat code racket it's so it's like almost unfair to use this um but for its 102 like like i said before usually 102 like oversized rackets feel really flimsy and like light so it doesn't feel great but like this overall like for it for what it is like for a 102 head this is a really solid racket i could see like like even like competitive players using this racket because it's so stable for its size and it's like how light is it it's like 10 it's 10 2, 10 2. 10 2. Yeah. without so, like, strings yeah. without strings so like i'm personally shocked by how light it is and i yet yeah, i can still control a lot with this racket which is surprising to me right perfect so that's the serena racket okay supposedly the racket she really uses all right, I want to thank Coach Andrew for hanging out with me today. Where can we find you, Andrew? You can find me at agu.tennis, and I'll also be posting that content there. All right, I want to also thank Coach Chris. Where can we find you, Coach Chris? 
uh, at Christopher Chen, C-H-I-N. All right, so I'm gonna finish this up um, at the shop. I'm gonna actually test out this frame with uh, one that I actually have that Serena actually owned, and uh, we'll do it back at the shop, all right? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we just tested it out, uh, the new Serena racket. I'm gonna check, show you a couple of details about it. Look at her signature right there. All right, it's actually a pretty cool cosmetic. I like this kind of goldish Wilson color. Um, and then it says the Serena Williams autograph right there. All right, and then now it says it's a blade SW102. It's version seven, it says. All right, so how did it play? Um, I actually struggled with it for the first 10 minutes. Uh, wasn't quite used to the lag because I haven't played with a long racket in a while. Um, you could tell uh, that Coach Chris, not much Coach Goo, but Coach Chris had a couple instances where the lag kind of, you know, delayed his shot a little bit too, uh, just because, you know, an inch as we think of it isn't a lot. But when you add an inch to the you know, length of a racket, um, there's definitely lag in your swing. So I took a lot of, you know, forehands late uh, and I hit them wide down the line or, or far off missing the line. So definitely late in the beginning because I wasn't used to the extra length. Um, I choked up on it a little bit uh, after that and it definitely helped a lot more. So... But definitely, this is a pro stock racket. I know in most of the video that we did at the hitting session that we kept saying that it was 10-2. Uh, that was my mistake. It's not 10-2. It's actually 10-8 without strings. 10-2 uh, would be the regular uh, Blade 104 that you can find on the shelves. This is the special Serena Williams edition, which is now 102 okay and 10.8 and it has been 10.8 since they made her own racket or her racket the serena special edition one that she actually uses even in the 104 it was 10.8 on a 28 inch frame so apologize for that um had it in my head that it was 10.2 for some reason okay so this is kind of like a as close to a pro stock as you're going to be able to get um, Coach Andrew actually liked it, right? He called it, you know, when you got when you're playing Mario and you got the star, and suddenly you got the Serena racket in your hand, and you got that extra burst of power that you need, right? So he actually killed the ball with this racket. Um, he dialed up some power, and it actually went right. He actually had a little bit of problem keeping it in the court uh, because it had so much power. But he actually loved the power when, uh, when he needed it. Uh, Coach Chris actually didn't want to give this back to me. Um, he's in search of a racket. Uh, and I said, hey, why don't you join the WTA and use this thing? Right? And he, we all got a kick out of that one. But he actually liked it. So this is actually going back to Coach Chris after I'm done with this video. Because he wanted to continue to use it. Because he, he's considering getting a new racket. And uh, he actually said, hey, I was able to shape the ball. I was able to drive through the ball. I was able to hit through the ball really, really well against Coach Andrew. So he's considering um, switching to this racket, which actually, hey, if you're going to get a racket that's kind of pro stock, that's something that a pro level person actually uses, this is one of the few ones on the market today, right? That's actually called a blade. All right, so I am gonna actually compare this racket. I have Serena's actual racket from, man, 10 years plus ago, and I'm gonna see if anything has changed besides the 104 to the 102. So hold tight. So I'm breaking into the Serena racket again. So this is Serena Williams racket from 2009 Australian Open uh, finals where she was the champion uh, racket used during the finals. So she strung it at 65 pounds it looks like with Wilson natural gut with a pre-stretch. 
5% pre-stretch, it looks like. Wow, that's, uh, that's crazy. So, she signed it there. Sorry. She signed it there. Okay, and back then it was called K-Blade Team. Now, when we got this racket, it was intact. Like the stringing was intact. Within three months, one side broke. Another three months, the other side broke. The center actually just broke. So it's been, man, how many, 10 years plus? So this one finally broke. But this is what happens to the gut after a while, especially if you're gonna string it at 65 pounds like her. But um, this was actually her racket. Um, I, I did a video on this one um, already before, and uh, I could try to link it uh, above or below and uh, give you the specs of it. But this grip is uh, pretty big. It's definitely like a 5 8 So we're gonna test a couple things and see if anything has changed in the racket. The beam looks the same. The beam is a 22. Let's see if the length should be the same. Interesting. Either this floor is off or the old, see look, the, the old one looks a little longer, doesn't it? Let me switch sides, see if it does the same thing. No, the, uh, the older one looks a little longer. It's already an inch, so maybe this one's even more than an inch longer. All right, so let's test out the balance here. Three thirty looks like six. Three thirty six on the new one. All right, so we're gonna hit the scale and see what we get. All right, so at the RDC machine and the scale, we're gonna test out the new 102 first. Three twenty-eight point five is the weight, and then the swing weight. So now we're going to take Serena's championship racket, throw it on the scale, 327, 327 grams, okay. swing weight. Sixty four. 
try that again. Yeah, 364. All right, so let's let's analyze. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we got the numbers from the two rackets. Uh, on the 102, 328.5, all right? That's the weight. Swing weight was 354, balance was 336. Uh, these two don't change. The RA of 68, 22 millimeters. On her real racket, uh, from 10 years plus ago, 327, 364 on the swing weight, 334. These two again don't change. Now, this is pretty much spot on. That's as close as we're going to get, right? Because we don't know uh, what, she, you know, hers is obviously custom, so they can control this number a little better. Uh, when they mass produce it, right, a variance of 1.5 is great, right? This is as close as you're going to get to a pro stock. And we did put an overgrip on um, this one, uh, which she did too. So apples to apples there. Now the swing weight is a little interesting because swing weight's been off for a little while now. I'm sure her quality control is way better at 364 and that's how she wants it. Uh, they probably did, they might've done this on purpose. So, you know, for us as non-Serena people, you know, not as good as her. Uh, they probably want a little lighter head to come through. Uh, we definitely felt that it did come through a little quicker. Balance, this is pretty much as good as you get from Wilson, right? Not much off. Uh, stiffness doesn't change, beam doesn't change. Now the length is 28 inches. Uh, I did just show you that her actual racket from 10 years ago was maybe, man, eighth of an inch, uh, if that, a little longer, just a little longer. Again, it could be her quality control, um, giving it you a full, full 28 inches on that length. String pattern doesn't change at 18 by 19. All right, so again, my apologies. I know that when we were out hitting, uh, I kept saying 10.2, right? And we were all shocked that it was 10.2. That's because it wasn't 10.2, it was 10.8 before strings. So we know now uh, what it is. Now, if you're gonna, if you're looking for a pro stock racket and you want an inch longer, want a little more reach, right? This is definitely a great stick for that. Um, we all would definitely pick this up and play with it like in an instant. This is that great of a racket. Um, so, hey. We strung it at 52 pounds with Dunlop Explosive Spin because uh, we wanted to test the string out with the racket at 52 pounds. Um, that gave it a good amount of power, actually. We we're expecting a little more control, but it gave it a good amount of power at 52 pounds. So we all actually enjoyed this racket a ton. So, um, so that's the new Serena Signature Blade, the SW-102. All right. If you're a fan of a blade and if, you're, if you play with a blade and you want a little more power, this is definitely your stick. Or if you want, if you're looking for a pro stock, something close to a pro stock, try this one. I, we, we all think you'll enjoy it. All right, so thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.